I was just I was so frustrated. I, I, I was in Dubai or the UAE recently and, and I was just beyond words. I was, it was 60 degrees. I was out photographing in the desert trying to find these people. We'd sort of found these people. It had been a, an incredible day and I'd, a very long day of 50 plus degrees all day and uh, I was waiting for a taxi and I just could not possibly find one. Um, you know, and people were just driving past, and it looks like they're driving in an empty taxi, and no one would pick me up, which was really beginning to upset me a little bit because it was just so hot, and I'd been out in the desert for so long, and I was burnt as anything, and um, eventually I'd just sort of given up, and I was like, you know what, I'm just going to start walking this direction, and hopefully someone pulls over at some point. And uh, lo and behold, this taxi driver pulls over, and, and I get in, and um, he says, oh, where, where, where have you come from? Where are you going? And I said, oh, look, I'm from Australia. I'm heading to Afghanistan tomorrow. And he said, I'm a member of the Taliban. And I sort of paused for a second and I, I said, you're, you're what? He said, I'm a member of the Taliban. And I said, uh, you know, and he said it with a sort of smile, and not just enough of a smile that I sort of didn't feel completely unsafe and, um, you know, I think we were meant to meet. He, he progressed to tell me uh, this story, um, I guess, about how he'd tried to be an example for his children. Um, they, were, they were living in an area of Pakistan called Waziristan where all military-aged men have to be a member of the Taliban, otherwise basically your family is killed. Um, so he was not a, a Taliban member by choice um, and he still had to go back for one month training every year. Um, and this man said, look, you know, how does someone who's stuck in such a situation um, find happiness? And this is sort of what I, I I started asking him about. And he said, look, I guess I've just tried to be an example to my two boys that um, no matter what's thrown at you in life, you still have the choice to live the life that will make you happy and, and make you smile. And um, a story that he then went on to tell me was, beyond incredible so I said well you know how do you do this to, to two boys who are gonna I guess be brainwashed to some extent um, over the coming years to think that killing and, and these sorts of things are okay and that there is only there is only this very extreme view of Islam that is worth following and uh, you know he said well look I, I just see that my wife and I need to be the examples that there is an alternative reality that we can create and we can follow and he said, look, one day I was out the back of our house and I could hear these sounds and I ended up going to, to see what they were because they just continued um, for some time and he came across a, a US soldier with a bullet wound in his leg and uh, we can't give, I don't want to give too many details about this man but um, basically he, he came across this, this US soldier and um, who was you know, screaming and yelling, don't kill me, don't kill me, don't kill me, don't kill me, I have a family, I have a family, I have a family, family, family. And um, he, he sort of said, well, what, what sort of situation am I in? If I don't kill him, maybe me and my family are going to get killed. If, someone's, if someone saw him at that moment not killing the US soldier, his whole family's dead, you would imagine. Um, so this man just said, shh, shh, just shush to this US soldier. Um and he sort of spent some time just quickly looking around to see if anyone had seen him um, speaking to this man because, of course, he should have just ended his pain and shot him in the head. Um, and so he took the US soldier over his shoulder into his house um, and his wife began to um, attend to his leg and try and stop the bleeding and he brought his two sons to come and see that there is a different way to murder and, and hatred um, and so this, this man um, had risked his life already and his, the life of basically everyone he loves. Um, if someone heard them speaking English inside the house, a Taliban member, and had walked in and, and seen them, all, everyone was dead. Um, so this man continued to, to talk to his children and say, look, this is the alternative. This is the, the trust and the compassion that creates a different reality for you guys that you know, when you grow up, you don't have to be looking over your shoulder and you don't have to be living in fear. You can pursue, you know, the, the opportunities in life that you want. So, you know, but this U.S. soldier was dying. They couldn't stop the bleeding. 
Um, so, you know, he said, look, what were we to do? And, and the US soldier was pleading with them to take, he said, look, the only chance I have, I have, I need to get surgery on my leg. You have to take me to the US base close by. They didn't have a car. So then the, the problem was that they were going to have to uh, ask someone else for a car, which meant maybe explaining the situation, which wasn't a safe situation to be explaining to people in the community. Um, so he did. He asked a friend to borrow a car and trusted that that friend would not betray him um, to the Taliban. And uh, so they eventually made the decision to take this US soldier to this base, um, which again risked their life. If anyone saw inside their car or if they hit a roadblock, which is quite common in these countries, um, they'd just all be dead. Yeah. Um, yeah. And so this man sort of said, actually, wait, before we get to the base, what's going to happen to me? If they see that I'm a Taliban member and I've got a u wounded US soldier, are they, are they going to capture me? Are they going to interrogate me? Are they going to kill me? Yeah. And, he, and the US soldier said, look, just trust me, trust me. They'll be so grateful. You know, my family, everyone's going to be so grateful. Just trust. And he said, you know, it, it took five seconds to think, you know, trust. You know, I guess that's what he, he preached to his children that, you know, at some stage we're going to need to learn to talk to one another and trust one another and that, you know, ultimately if he didn't do this, he was going against the lessons that he was teaching his children. So, yeah, he risked his life, you know, for a third time arguably and, and took this man to the base and this man had surgery and survived and his family had written to this member of the Taliban and obviously thanked him um, for risking his life, the life of his family and... Um, and yet this man is still trapped in this reality of having to go back and train with the Taliban. His children are about to become military age, so um, they're going to have to start training. And, yeah, so it's a pretty, pretty powerful thing of, you know, if you have faith, if you just sort of, you know, say, well, yeah, I'm pissed off, I can't find a taxi. Well, maybe the world didn't want you to catch that first taxi, so just ride with it and uh, you never know what you might find. That's just the so. I'm blown away. That is just the most <laughs> incredible funny story. Yeah. Oh, my God. Oh, that is just amazing. That's, wow. Yeah. Wow. What an amazing story. Yeah. What an amazing story. Look, apart from the mind-blowing story, you know, something that you said is so poignant and what was being discussed yesterday is it's not really about what happens to you. It's it's how you react to it. Um that is determining your happiness. One Thanks so much for joining us for another enlightened conversation on Accentuate the Positive. If you would like spiritual guidance from my guides, Blissful Beings, go to karenswain.com for a reading or to listen to more enlightened thought leaders share their wisdom. Go to the listen page on karenswain.com and choose who you want to listen to. All the podcasts are also available on iTunes. Remember to check us out on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Pinterest, you name it, we're there. Until next time, bye for now. Clap along if you feel like that's what you want.